this. Boom. Hello, everyone, and welcome into another session of D and D. We are joined today with our wonderful teammates who are currently level ten because they leveled up last game. Uh, we got Isaac. Go ahead and introduce Hi. yourself, Isaac. Hello there. Uh, thanks, Isaac. All right, Abaddon, how you doing? Will you want to introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Abaddon. He's, yeah, he's. I, I think she wants more from us, Abaddon. I mean, probably, but it's fine. I mean, I, I got got ale. That's about it. I hit things. And I got books and spells. And then there's Don Grave. He's awesome. I love him very much. Hey, Don Grave. Oh, I'm Don Grave, and I think Anubis is cool. Yeah, Anubis is pretty cool. And then we got Red, the uh, wild one. Hello, I'm Red, leader of the group, brains of the group, planner of the group, and speaker. Uh-huh. <laughs> this and more lies later in the session. Oh, no. <laughs> Elise, Red got into bad mushrooms again. Oh, no. I never got into mushrooms at all. That was... What are you talking about? Oh, God, he doesn't remember. It was worse than we thought. No, it was Abaddon. It was me. Oh, no. I do have mushrooms. <laughs> Wait, you do? Why? Yeah. Don't worry about it. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so when last we left our heroes, they were trying to head home and ignore all manners of things around them to just go home because they were tired of being in the Winter Wonderland. Unfortunately, one of their party members, Red Cough Red, uh, Hello. wanted to go and look around, and he found a cottage that was broken down in the middle of the forest, and he decided to enter it without his party there. Upon entering the cottage, uh, his teammates began to get very, very concerned because he didn't come back for hours on end, so they went out and searched for him. And then Red walks out about the same time they come up to the cottage and they said, where were you? And he said, I don't know. It's been hours. And then he did it again. And now currently he has now left their party and decided to enter the house again. Uh, so at this time, that is where we have most recently left our party members. So I think what is Donnie's counting? What is everyone else doing to, uh, while he's playing around with the house? I'm counting to help Red figure out if he's in some timey whammy bullshit. I see. All right. So if he comes back like normal, do we just go ahead and add a one or something? No. So how would we do that? So I'm going to when I step into the house. Uh huh. I'm just counting. I'm going to count to five. Like I'm continuing my counting. But I'm adding five to it. So if I was on fifteen, I'll stay until twenty. Sure. And then I'll come back and see if we're on the same number. Okay. So you do this, and you yep. come back out. Are we on the same number? Uh, yes, you are both on the same number. Well, right. I don't, I don't know what happened then because my, I would have known. I don't know what happened. Well, what part of the house did you go in? Just inside the door. I didn't even go inside. I just stepped inside the door. So, like the area that you were just in, you went in. Yes. Mm. I swear I've been gone like 40 minutes. Uh, it's been like two hours, bud. Yeah, yeah according to the lease, it's been a long time. It has. Probably. Well, we're here. Do you want to take a look inside and see what's there? Actually, no, wait, no, no. Remember? Witches, let's leave. Uh, I'm kind of at the point where I just Figure Katsula could set it on fire and we leave. Why would I set it on fire? What if there's somebody inside? Yeah, mm -hmm. I don't think setting on fire is the move there, buddy. Mm -hmm. This entire place. place looks like it's about to fall to pieces. Yeah, but, you know, something could still be living there. I mean, did you see anybody living in there when you were crawling around inside without us? I took one, quite literally... One step in. Did you see anybody when you took your one step in? And I didn't see anyone, but that doesn't mean they're not there. Well, these snowmen came out. 
So uh, there's probably more bullshit in there. So Isaac wants to go in. Anybody else? No, I'm just kind of looking around. Trying to see if I see anything. He's like looking from the outside in. Sure. You're taking a gander around stuff and things. I mean, you could you could easily see in the front door there if you just take one Is there a front step door? north. Yeah, take one step north, buddy. How about no? That's south. Yeah. It's not north. Take a step I'm take, north. I'm going to take one to the west, too. All right, that's it. I'm going to force you forward. <laughs> no! <laughs> Cats railroading us. No, I was just trying to have him see inside, and because of the way that it's it's laid out, but... Isaac runs off as God tries to drag him back. You don't have to look inside. No, 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 no. Are we? Don't are we want to get out of here though? Like we all had a long, stressful tower tower journey. That was that was very stressful. Yeah, we should probably just head back to camp. I'm like, really, what's going to be in here? No. Uh, the okay. cold's back to normal. Kath? Yes. While they're doing this, can I um, hold my little orb in my hand and like point into the house? Uh, trying, I'm trying to be sneaky about this, and I want to I wanna, I wanna think about uh, Quartz, the witch person, um, and just be like, hello, this is... Um, Abaddon, the purple fellow from before, are you in the house? You can reply to this message. And just cast a, a message spell into the house and see if anything responds. So, but, uh, wait, are you <laughs> using the crystal or are you using He's your using the spell? Doorbell. I'm using my spell message. Oh, okay, okay. My, my cantrip message. But, but I have to... Yeah, um... Yeah, but I was like, hey, let me use the doorbell, you know, be polite about it. Maybe yeah. get some tea or I something. I mean, I have to be familiar with the target, so I'm saying it's I'm right, putting right. it towards towards the which I saw. If it if it isn't if if it isn't her, uh -huh. then it doesn't go through. Or if it isn't, you know, something like that, then it won't go through, pretty much. So it, it has to be the person I know. It has to be the person I know. Of course. So uh let me roll something on. Okay. Counter spell. Apparently they have a spam blocker. Wait, would counterspelling a message count as caller ID? <laughs> High or low, Mr. Bunny? Uh, low. You get a response back. Okay. From the voice of the last time that you, you heard the stuff and the things. Mm -hmm. She says, I'm unsure what house you're speaking of but oh it's so good to hear from you i can definitely give you the coordinates to my house if you're interested huh Abaddon's having a cast it again it's only 120 feet message it's a, it's a message oh so she in there <laughs> It, it, it's different than than sending. Yeah, you're thinking sending. Uh, you're thinking sending, Kath. Well, you didn't give me message in the chat. I will. There you go. I see. So only if the target point your finger towards a creature. So you have to see the creature. Uh, or through a wall. It, it can be one foot of stone. Uh. Yeah, one Resistant. foot of stone, one inch of common metal, a thin sheet of lead, or three feet of wood blocks the spell. Then you wouldn't so have gotten a response. She's on the other side well, of the wall. I can, I can see roughly into here from my point of view, so I was kind of just pointing generally into the house. No, you would like, not hey. have gotten a response then. Okay, okay, we're good then. Is that the, is that the thing she gave you? That you're holding? Huh? Is that the thing she gave you that you're holding? She gave me something? Hey, Donnie, check no. the snow globe. Oh, the snow globe. Yeah. She gave me something? <laughs> I checked the snow globe. <laughs> you see Abaddon dumping out a bag. I am I fairly certain I gave you something. 
I remember let you me check, something. Let me check my notes. I'm pretty sure I did too. Hold up. Uh huh. I will hold on, Don Grave. I understand you're checking your orb, but it's gonna take him forever to find it. Why can't I orb? No, I know I, exactly where my orb is. Oh, hold on, Donny. <laughs> Donny, God has to place something in their bag real quick. Oh my god. Yeah, this thing that you told totally me. I might not got. have wrote it down. Okay. You were given a small blue crystal, and they said whenever you wanted to see them to break it. Oh, hell. Right. Right. It's the worst possible person to give that to. Um. I think I disagree with that. You know. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna make a roll. Do you cash? Okay. Really? Which one do you think would be worse? The person who likes to try to make a deal with every being that comes by. <laughs> okay. 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 I was gonna um... say me. <laughs> so if you want to DM me with that, you know, whatever you want to do, <laughs> I, I'll, I'll DM, work just... with Don Grave while you're working on that. Yeah, I'll, I'll DM you. It's it's just a few short words. All right. So Don Grave, you pull out your little orb. You pull out your little orb. Um, you do see uh, a little miniature version of the immediate area around you. Um, but you only see the life auras of you and your companions. Okay, and remind me, did it work through walls previously or no? You do not believe it worked through walls before because you could not see in the towers. Okay, so I don't see anyone, like, outside aside from us, correct? Right. Outside of the home, you do not see any other life auras. If I step into somewhere, does the, does the, does the view change to, like, in that room? You've never tried. When I was inside the tower, did it show me outside the tower or in the it room? It did not. Room? It only showed you your immediate area. Okay. All right, hang on. I got to read something. It's probably four words. I break the crystal. It's it's more than four words, homie. So it's while everyone's nice everyone's looking at <laughs> I Don break the Grave. small crystal. <laughs> Anyways. Hang on. All right. Uh so Abaddon, you're you're over there, you know, you're you're doing your mm -hmm. own thing and everyone else is just kind of chilling and, and looking away and um Yeah, I'm doing a few spells and stuff. You're doing a few spells and stuff and you did a little message thing or whatever. Uh and then you remembered you had that crystal in your bag. So you you reach your hand into the bag and you uh without really taking your hand out of the bag because you're not, you know, you're not trying to draw attention to yourself, to your friends, you uh you attempt to activate the crystal, uh, mm -hmm. and in doing so, it shatters in your hands, um, and you feel yourself getting tugged in a direction. So, okay. hold on. You all see Abaddon wink out of existence, but you see, like, a little bit of his aura, like, phasing into the house at this point. Guys, Abaddon's gone. Hang on, hang on. Did he tell us about this thing he got from the witch? I don't mm. think so, right? I've yeah. never told you guys anything about that interaction. Okay. That's I, not true. You definitely mentioned the witches at some point. All I said was that I talked to a witch. That is all I said. Yeah, that's something about the interaction. Ooh, yeah, but like that is like the bare minimum. Ooh, I'm Abaddon. I'm dangerous and cursive. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Abaddon, uh, I need you to click on uh, Runes C. I see it. Yeah, go ahead and click on that for okay, me, sir, okay, and that's okay, where okay. you're gonna be while everyone else is not there. Oh. Alright. So for chat, uh, you see Abaddon, uh, you, have, you have poofed into a room uh, with two orcish looking peak people and two beds to your back there, and they turn and look at you in, in surprise, uh, and they're going to say, hi, and I'm going to pop back over to the other team mm -hmm. real quick. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, okay. I right. the house got destroyed. <laughs> How are you guys? <laughs> guys, he's gone. Do I see Abaddon's uh, spark anywhere in my snow globe? Uh, you, while you were, because you were currently looking at the snow globe when this happened. You watched his, like, spark shoot into the house and then disappear. 
All right, share this information with everyone. Uh, all right, I'll go in. Why don't we all go in? Uh, right behind you. I'll do it first. There is a door over here. Just so all that know. just to get us in the house, huh, Kath? <laughs> I what? gave oh, that to him dear. before the tower. <laughs> okay. oh, sorry. Damn, called out. <laughs> damn it. Oh, I gave that to him. Did you say that damn it? Yes, I did. That's wonderful. All right, we're going in. Yeah. All right. Before, before Isaac goes in, he'll take his axe and knock on the door frame a little bit. Like, as a, come on, Dad. And then step in. All right. So... Uh, as you all are, are scooching in a little bit here, I will, I will let you see, I'll let you guys see a little bit as you're kind of scooching oh, in. Here. Um, as you, as you kind of step over the threshold, you notice that now that you're kind of looking at it a little easier, the inside is a bar. This appears oh. to have been some kind of tavern at some point, but it has been utterly destroyed by the cold. Um, there might be old ale here. From your current vantage point, you can obviously see, like, the, the initial bar area that's been kind of collapsed and destroyed over here on the right. Uh, there's a fireplace here to the right that is obviously not lit or anything. There's lots of chair or tables that are overturned, a couple chairs that might still be in working order if you wanted to flip them up. Um, but other than that, I mean, that is, uh, that's kind of what you see just directly from your current position. That might be a, well, test the floor so you don't fall through. And Abaddon, I'm just going to pop you over here so you can also see. He's not here. He is not here, but I'm just letting him also look. And okay. Then, and then I'm going to okay. uninstall okay. him again. Gotcha, after, gotcha, gotcha. After we find Abaddon, we might find some old ale. Yeah, Alcohol gets better with age. I, I'm, I'll pass. <laughs> uh, so... In. What are you guys just gonna kind of like walk on in there? Like, what's the plan? Well, I stepped in and then it swapped me to a different thing. No, no, it's not a different thing. Uh, there's an overhang, so f a forge allows you to put levels of things, and if you walk under something else, it'll make the top layer go away. Oh, so that's yeah. what this is using. There we go. This is so using I, couldn't, I couldn't see anything, so I stepped forward. Well, that, I don't know why you couldn't see. Well, I, I it literally sets me back to where I can only see about from here, here, and here. Just that yeah. opening at the top. Oh, weird. Yeah, okay. like right here, Kath, where I'm in. Ah, uh, because there's a hole in the ceiling there. I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Well. Uh. So that's what you guys are doing. <laughs> so are you gonna are you gonna like look around? Like, what do you, what do you want to look at? What do you want to do? Um, calling for them. Yeah, call for him. Guys, I got this. I cast Thaumaturgy and call out for Abaddon. And you what for Abaddon? Call out for I Abaddon. plug my ears. Oh, okay. Same. Three times as loud as normal. Oh my gosh. He, he Abaddon, where are you? All right, Abaddon, let's go back to the other one. Okay. So, Abaddon. <laughs> You are mm -hmm. currently in a very small enclosed space with two people, and they turn to you and they say, "Ha! Ah, how did you get in here?" Hi. That is a good Hi. question. I'm not. Well, no. I'm unsure. Okay. Well, were you trapped in here? No. Not previously. Are you? I've been here for around. 20 seconds. Are you a demon come to kill us? No. Okay. Are you going to give us any answers? I'm I'm just a normal Yo. tiefling. <laughs> Anyways, I'm uh -huh. I was given a I was given a thing uh -huh. and I broke it and now I'm here. So what? How did you all get here? Uh, we were captured when we were walking by in our caravan and 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 I, I think there's more of us somewhere, but I don't know where they are. And occasionally there were three of us, and then, 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 then there was only two. It happened when we were sleeping. I don't know. I see. 
And I can't get this door open. I've, we've been trying for days. Sometimes food shows up and we eat it, but I don't know. I can't hear anything through it. Nothing's happening. And now you're here taking my air? Yes, that's quite... Yes. Can you breathe quieter? Stop taking their air. Yeah, how dare you? That's rude. I will attempt to be yes. <laughs> I don't know what you wish for me to do. Can you we'll get see. out of here? I don't know yet. Okay. Let me know. All righty. If you move away from the door, I can take a look at it, and I will okay. see what I can do. I'll take a walk from the door. Don't try I'm, anything weird. I'm not going to. Can't move, Kath. Oh, sorry, you're paused. Sorry, sorry, sorry. go ahead. <laughs> Is there a, any indication on this side of the door of something I can, like, lockpick or anything? Uh, now that you're a little bit closer to the door, you can kind of see that there are claw marks on this side of the door. There is no handle from what you can see, so there's nothing for you to mm. lockpick. It seems to be a very, like, smooth door on this side, minus the claw marks of somebody trying to escape. Okay. Anything else you would like to try? Um, this is, I'm thinking. Okay, I'll go back to the other side then. All right, so you guys are shouting. Abaddon is not responding to you in any particular way. Uh, oh, he's dead. What would you like to do? I guess we'll meander about. Um, I'll look. You know what? I'm going to try this door over here. Kath, can I see through this fireplace like it's one of those double-sided ones? It is one of those double-sided ones. Fancy. Oh, there's a basement down here, too. Oh, God. I'm going to try the door. All right, so... Not anymore, you're not. So, as uh, as you guys are kind of walking around and looking at different stuff, uh, I'll, I'll start with Don Grip because he did mention the fireplace first. Um, so, you can kind of see through the fireplace to the other side of the room. Uh, it looks like the other part of the room was probably where people would, you know eat and stuff like that because it looks like there were more tables and stuff over there and maybe a stage in the far right um and so like eh, this, this was probably a pretty nice place back in the day um red you're you're kind of looking at a bunch of broken stuff here and you you do actually see some steps here that go up um they're a little rickety but there is a way going up over here and there's a closed door here yeah and... i remember that there's a uh, a pillar over here that also leads up. Mm -hmm. And Isaac, you, you walked over here and you do see some stairs that go down. Uh, and then, of course, there is this, this door in front of you here. Yeah. Um, give it a little wiggle. Give it a little wiggle. Well, this door opens without an issue. Uh, and, and you can kind of see into this room here. Uh, this appears to have been some kind of storage room. And then there's, a, there's another open door over there that's kind of doing its own thing. There. So... Does the uh, bag look like anything, or just ratted old stuff? Ratted old stuff, nothing too fancy or interesting, really. Like he, he's looking for Abaddon, but he's also looking for like aged alcohol. Yeah, these these barrels here look like they may have held alcohol, but they're too cracked and broken. Anything in them would have leaked out. All right. Um, Kath. Okay. Yes. Oh. Come back and help. Can I discern how old this place is? Um, we could probably discern how old in places. Give me, um, give me a history check. I cannot discern how old this place you, is. You, it, because it's probably been in the cold for so long, you're really not sure. It, it probably held a lot of this place up, you know. Not, no idea. Red, are you okay? Yeah, I'll just wait. Okay. Well, uh, before Isaac like goes around and opens doors, did you want to do anything? Because he's just yeah. walking around. What are you doing? So I was going to go to the other side of the room over here. Okay. And take that. Oh, can't. Can I go? Can we go through the stair? The fireplace. You can try. Do I look like I'll fit? It'd be tight, but you could probably just go around can over we walk here. Around? Uh, oh, yeah, so 
I didn't see the spirals going on, so. Oh. <laughs> right. Okay. This way. All right, so this appears to be the way where you tried to come in before. Yeah. And Isaac, when you open this door, <clears throat> you see just a whole bunch of collapsed stuff over here. Nothing over oh, there. um, so speaking of things we forgot to mention, um, I know we weren't talking about it. Uh, I forgot to say, uh, there's blood over here, by the way. Can't oh, tell wow. how old it is. In the back oh. entrance. Over here. Over here? Oh. Chow, I'm chow. avoiding this hole here, this obvious hole. There oh. is a hole there that leads to the basement, yeah. yeah well, right. there's I'm some avoiding that. There's some stairs over here and another door. Yeah, those stairs don't look like they'll, they'll fit me, but this... Oh. Oh. Okay, so Kath, I may have misunderstood. Uh -huh. I thought this pillar right here uh -huh. went upstairs. Did not, no. Yeah, I... It looks like it did for me. I was so very I will... confused what you meant by pillar. Yeah, I was me like, too. okay. So I, I guess stairs it is. Hey, I found a bathtub. When you open the door to look inside that particular room, um, you do see a very nasty bathtub that was still kind of filled with water. It's got like a layer of green goo on top of it right now. Uh, so... It may have been used relatively recently. It's not frozen, which you find kind of strange. I'll relay that over to Red, because Red will understand the how odd that is. How am I going to understand that? How does bathtub and water work? <laughs> I don't understand. So he knows, he to... knows that he knows that nature, like when it gets cold, water freezes. Yeah. I have also never experienced freezing water. <laughs> Shut up, mummy man. Oh, my God! Wow! <laughs> wow! Whoa! I, I clearly, when I walked into the frozen forest, they were like, "Man, what's all this white stuff?" <laughs> See your frozen pond, and be like, "How did that happen? It's solid." <laughs> Why are you guys being so mean to each other? What is this? He started. <laughs> I, I didn't even know we were being mean. <laughs> I'm having a blast. Oh my You're like, goodness. yes. And so I was like, that's a bathtub. Mm, well, the water's not frozen. That's a little odd. Maybe I'm going to go check not, the stairs. Maybe it's not water. I can't turn maybe to look at the I know, hang on. Water. Hang on. It could be just be a slime. Sorry, Kath. I moved there because I can't see when I'm in this spot. Oh, God. Is it a slime? Are There's you going to go touch it? Say, this no. isn't our first slime. It's not even our first green-colored slime. <laughs> no, I'm not going to touch it. Just leave it alone. You sure? Yeah. Okay. Turns out it's acid. I don't know what you're talking about. I have never probably done that to you. Right. Gazes wistfully at the spot where my lockpick used to be. <laughs> All right. Sorry. I was adjusting something real quick. Okay. All right. I would like to try and go upstairs. All right. Uh, you guys see Red walk up the stairs. Where are the stairs at? I don't. Sorry. It, when I get into this area, it shoots me it's back over here. to. Okay. So I'm having to like bounce between it's fine. spots. Here. I I will assist you. Hang on. Screw it. Just send me up there with him. There. There you go, Isaac. Those go are right. Stairs? Those are stairs. Oh, oh, okay. I see it now. I will follow Red up the stairs. Okay. Go up the stairs. All right. Well, you guys are kind of clamoring up the stairs there, and I'm gonna pause you for a quick second and jump over to Mr. Bunny. All right, Mr. Money, you've had time to think. What are you doing? Uh, uh, yeah, I, um, uh-huh. Uh-huh? I love not having, like, anything for this. You hadn't even gotten a full night's rest yet, by the way. No, I haven't. It's great. Um. Is there any way I can slip something in between the door? Is there, like, a, a, a thing I can look under the door? Can I see anything? Um, 
it seems as though there's some kind of foam material, uh, like some squishy material that's uh, all around the door, not allowing anything like through. You can't even mm. see. Like if you get all the way down, it's kind of like blocking it. Good. We love that. Um. The guy to your left is getting a little antsy. He's like, "Are you gonna do anything?" Put him down. Eat him. It's the only answer. Nothing does like eating people. He does like eating people. I bet the hunger creeps up on you, doesn't it? I am in the midst of doing something, yes. If you are patient with me for a few moments, I am uh -huh. attempting to figure out a plan. Seeing as I've only been in this room for possibly only five minutes, it's a bit rough. A little rough. A little rough. I've been in here for days, okay? There's nothing in this room. There's no air holes. There's nothing in here. I've never seen anybody come in or out. I don't know. So, I don't know. I've tried to break the door, but occasionally, when I hit it too hard, it hits back. And I'm not a big fan of that. Well, that's good to know. That's the most information I've gotten in the past five minutes. Well, you could have asked. You're not wrong. I want to tint something and see if it works. Okay. If it doesn't, then it's fine. I'm going to cast the dancing lights. Does that work? Uh, hold on. Higher low. Low. Yes, your dancing lights do appear. Okay, well, that works. I can um, see in the dark. I don't need that. I'm just trying to be useful, and I will cast Charm Person on him. <laughs> okay. Just to make a wisdom saving throw. <laughs> Penny knows you're doing it, too. Mm-hmm. I got a two. <laughs> no, he's Charm. You see his, like, extremely hostile demeanor kind of, like, float a little bit? Like, he was very hostile towards you, so... <laughs> You I'm know. just trying to do my best here to make the best of this situation because I seem to be stuck in the same one as you. So if we can all be acquaintances of some sort, we can get out of this faster. Okay. So I'd appreciate just some cooperation here. What do you need? I'm trying to uh, information. What's the most? Oh, you've taught. You've told me some things about this place. I'm trying to figure out if there's a way I can possibly break through the door. I don't have a spell for that, sadly. Otherwise, I would utilize that. Okay. Well, um, let me think. <sighs> um, so we have attempted to break the door. We've attempted to break the walls. Um, behind this thing here, we moved it. We've moved all the furniture. Everything seems very solid. Um, and when we moved this one, uh, there was a crack in the wall and he'll like scooch, scooch the furniture out of the way for you. And he says, uh, and as there's, there's, there's just stone behind the, behind the wall. And, and like, you can see the wood wall is cracked here as if somebody beat it really hard and mm -hmm. behind it is just solid stone. And he says, so maybe we're just in a stone box. And none of this is real. It could be possible. It could be an illusion as well. That sort of thing. I mean, you are not wrong. It is really hard to not be hostile towards you because that's how I built this character. I did not expect you to charm them, so I'm trying to tone it back a little bit. <laughs> you didn't know I had that spell, did you? <laughs> I did not know you had that spell, no. Curses! The board strikes again! <laughs> Seduce them. Seduce them, Bard. <laughs> No. <laughs> um. Um. Sorry, one second. I'm just gonna pull up my thing that I have. It's okay. Have the. You're. You've been stuck in here for roughly five minutes. During this time frame, your friends are walking around the first floor. Not that you knew about that, but that's where they are mm -hmm. currently. And uh, they're kind of doing their own thing, looking for you. They are shouting. Uh, mm -hmm. but no, nobody upstairs is getting any responses. By the by, just. So you know. Uh huh. I'm gonna turn. Actually, I'm gonna ask them to back. 
Could you roll back up onto the bed for a second for me? I would love to, says the charmed person. Uh, <laughs> the other person looks at you funny and will stand on the bed. She hasn't really said much. <laughs> oh, um. Yeah, I guess. Okay, that's that size. Hold on. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Um. <laughs> uh huh. Damn it. Okay. Now that would not fit. I would rather not do that. Okay. I'm going to turn. I'm going to use. I'm going to attempt to use polymorph. Oh. And I'm going to turn myself. Ah, oh, no. Nah, if I don't do as. I mean, I guess it'll do more than what I can do at the moment. Unless if I can fit that in here. Probably not. Probably not. That's probably a huge creature. Yeah, it's a huge creature. Okay, never mind. I'm gonna turn myself into ape. What are you? Okay. If I if I'm able to, I don't know if the spell will work, but if it will, cool. So so an ape is like how big is an ape? Is it a large? Is it a huge? Like how much space does that gosh dang thing? It take just up? it's just a medium. It's the same size as me. Okay. It's a Higher monkey low. ape. Uh, Hi. Roll me a wisdom saving. Son of a... You, you go to cast your spell, and as you cast your spell, you feel something odd in the air around you. And as it's beginning to, like... The magic begins to come out of your hands because you're obviously casting around yourself. You feel the energy begin to go chaotic and it just kind of like sparks all over the place and you feel it just like kaboom in your hands. Like it's just an energy propulsion all around you. Uh, and you are taking 13 points of damage oh. as your spell backfires into your face. <clears throat> That felt great. Pretty Are you okay, dear people. friend? No, I'm not. <laughs> but it's, it's God, that's weird. <laughs> I'm. That should have worked, but it didn't. So that's good. Love that. I hate this stupid thing. Um. I have some bandages for your face if you need them. Oh God. It's all right. I appreciate it though. Oh my. Would you like me to bounce the other team while you think some more? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to bounce over here. We're hunting for him as Abaddon's making new friends. Um, I assume we're just meandering about up here, guys. Yeah, so Kasula and Elise are going to stay downstairs and kind of keep an eye on everything while you guys are upstairs. Just so you know. Okay. So, Red, Dongrave, Isaac, you guys kind of walk upstairs. The first thing you notice up here is that, obviously, uh, there's this giant hole here that kind of leads into the basement, or into these downstairs. Um, the areas around here, which were probably rooms or whatnot, most of the walls are destroyed and decrepit, with everything kind of falling apart around you. Broken glass all over the place. You gotta kind of, gotta be careful where you're walking. Dongrave, you do find a closed door in front of you. Uh, upon opening it, you see another destroyed section of the upstairs with a closed cabinet over here. Is there anything in the cabinet? Uh, you open the cabinet and look inside of it. Uh, you do actually see some very nice winter coats in here. It kind of looks like these were made of, like, fur of some kind. Can I... I acquire said coats. Sure! You collect six winter coats of uh, fine quality. Each of them would probably sell for about ten gold each. Ooh. They're very thick. I'm just going to wear all six of them at the same time. Okay, all right. Well, Don Grave, you spend some time putting those coats on. What everyone else is <sighs> Not doing. actually. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> no, I want to see Don Grave come out just... I'm the Massive. kid from a Christmas story. Yeah, I just walk <laughs> waddling out there. Hey guys, what's up? 
can I make it across here, or is there? You can't make it across blocking? there now. It's okay, it's well, probably gonna fall apart underneath you. Red, what are you sure. doing, buddy? Are you okay? Yeah, uh, I'm paused. No, you're not. No, you're not. I would have to disagree. It says I cannot take this action. The game is currently paused. The refresh else is unpaused. I would refresh. refresh. Don Graves been moving around a whole bunch. And I just moved. I, I was a little confused, but I didn't want to sound like I was really dumb, so I didn't <laughs> say anything. Oh, no. Let me know when you refresh. Just... Okay, we're good. I can move. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, Do you need me to help that... you with any of that? Oh, go ahead. Sorry. No. Is this a ladder or a stairs? No, what that's that? the bottom of a bed. Oh, okay. Okay. As Isaac's moving along, he's like using the head of his axe and he's like tapping the floor to make sure that. Yeah, yeah, of course. That uh, the floor is not just going to give way on him. Mm -hmm. uh, as you guys are kind of moving around, you do see Don Grieve in there trying on a whole bunch of coats. <laughs> God damn it. And then taking them back <laughs> off. <laughs> ask questions. I'm keeping an eye on for like any foot traffic up here. Besides us, of course. Give me a search check. Investigation. Oh. Did you want investigation or perception? I'm sorry. Well, we'll take this one. It's fine. I wanted the other one, but it's so, fine. Sorry, you said second. search, and I had to guess, I know, guess which one. I know, I know. It's 3.5 logic. Uh, yeah, I know. Uh, like Catherine or three point five brain. Shh, it's better. Um, <laughs> don't you Emmy? me? All right. Uh, so red, as you're kind of looking around at stuff, you do not see as though there have been any foot traffic up here. Um, all of this seems extremely undisturbed. There's like a, a thin layer of snow on everything. It's very cold up here. Like your breath is being able to be seen in front of your face. It's 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 cold. It's very very cold. Is it is it still giving me that colder than the outside vibe? Yes. Okay. You guys got it up here. I'm gonna check the basement. Yeah, I'm gonna check around a little bit and then follow you. Check on Elise and Casula down there, would you? Yep, that's part of the reason why I'm heading down. Got you. What's that bottle? What'd that bottle do? All right, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang oh, on. I'm... He's not here. He was just I know. here to this man look is at booze stuff. starved. <laughs> I, I haven't been in this hover in days. Uh, wait, hang on. Where did you say you were going, Red? I'm checking on Elise and oh, okay. Kasula, and then I'm heading to the basement. Okay, all right. Well, Elise and Kasula said nothing. nothing's really been happening, you know, so... That's oh, that. Upstairs is shocking. Uh, a total disaster. Uh -huh. um, so I saw a trap door on the other side that I'm going to take a look at. What trap door? That one, Kath. <gasps> okay. You, you thought I didn't notice, did you? I, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm oh. a clever boy. <laughs> I'm dry. All right, well, Hang on. I'm heading down to the basement. Those two upstairs. Don Graves trying on a bunch of coats. I am not. He was taking them back off, probably. <laughs> uh, he had a bunch of coats on. Like, he was trying to fit, like, six coats on at once. And last I saw him, he was taking them back off. So. I lean over the edge because I can hear this. I'm like, no, that didn't happen. He's making that up. <laughs> I did find some coats, but I'm not. I, I didn't put them all on. Okay, I got my winter clothes already. He totally put them on. Oh no! So, I'm gonna head to that trap more. door. If that's okay, Gav. Yes. All right. Hold on. I'm staying on red. You guys upstairs, don't move yet. I can't see you. Don't move upstairs. Hang on. Uh, so, Red, you go over to that trap door and you, like, pull a bunch of the debris and everything off. Um, and the the door appears to be locked. You're not sure how it's locked. When you pull on it, it doesn't move up and down. So it must be locked on the bottom side. Oh. Kind of give a few hard thumps with my mace. Have it on! 
You hear no response. All right. Um. How? How deep does that hole look? Uh, it's pretty far down there, yeah. Like in terms of feet. Um. Like I'm gonna take this little piece of wood and drop it down. And give me a good gauge. Eh, it's probably like thirty feet. Um. Tell them I went downstairs. Okay. Well, I'm going to wait, and we're going to go back upstairs, because you're doing something silly. All right, hi, what are you guys doing upstairs? Isaac is booze starved and wants to know about the broken bottle on the floor. Now, don't you judge me. Uh, The bottle is broken, and there is nothing inside. All right, well, I'm just going to go over here and check this out. Uh, there are some books Dolly on the checks. ground, and... Uh... Ooh. All right. So you, you throw open the door to the south. Um, you see a hole that leads to the first floor here with a bunch more destroyed stuff and things around you. Kat, tell me about these books that you pointed out to sure. us. Sure. That seemed awfully specific. I was just, I was just saying they were there. So, so the books on the ground here, um, they appear to be uh, in of the common tongue. Uh, and when you pick them up and kind of look at them, they just appear to be random like fantasy stories like romance novels and things like that nothing crazy it's Arf. probably it's probably just what people like were reading when they were here last why am i moving up i don't know why are you probably moving up I, probably because i pressed the up button instead of <laughs> the down button okay you should totally grab the books for abaddon nah oh no nah. <laughs> last time we had books they were sticky or something i don't remember oh no huh all right isaac you spilled ice cream all over the books uh, you open up oh, this yeah. room as well, and you do see another, you know, broken bed frame here. There appears to be some kind of picture under this bed frame, and then another uh, undestroyed cabinet here for, like, wardrobe for clothes and stuff. Hmm. We probably need to head downstairs. It really doesn't seem like we're finding anything. Let's head downstairs. Kath, is there anything of note of the fireplace? Nope, this one just appears to be destroyed and broken. Downstairs. All right, so it's going to look like I'm moving over the hole. I'm actually just going around. Do, do you want to bring your coat? They're in my bag already. All of them? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> I'm real good at folding stuff. All right. Well, while, while you're doing that, hang on. Red, I uh, I gotta grab you real quick. Hang on. Don't do anything silly, Red. Also, I have to you... roll damage for you. Hang on. Oh, I'm trying to break my fall, preferably with some sort of a saving throw involving my dexterity. <laughs> uh huh. I'm afraid uh, that's not how this happens, good friend. All right, red buddy, come over to see. Okay. So you you jump down the hole, uh, and it's a little 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 farther than you intended it to be. And when you crash onto the ground, and then you just move over here. Oh wait, no, oh, hang on. Here you are. And when you crash onto the ground over here, uh, you take six points. Of damage, fall damage, as you your legs uh, absorb some of the impact, but most of it is crashed onto the ground. In your immediate area, you see a doorway this way with a bunch of rubble and everything. Around you appears to be some extremely well-made walls. There's like a, a grate or something here. It looks like this was some kind of prison with an empty chest inside, and then there's a hallway off this way. That is what you currently see. Okay. In your area. Uh, let me jump back over here to Abaddon. No, sorry. Hey. Isaac. Oh, no. Okay, I do need to mind. go back to Abaddon. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You're good. Hang on. We haven't been to Abaddon in a while. Abaddon, buddy. <sighs> Did you think of a new plan yet? Uh, Abaddon's having a mental breakdown. <laughs> okay. And Solid. he's starting to have PTSD Solid flashbacks. Choice. Oh, no. Actually, I'm going to roll for that. Oh, no. Would I have to roll for that again? 
I mean, you did uh, recently right, have an experience. Mm hmm. So, Hence why. Maybe a little. Yeah, it was a what? What was it again? Would you make me roll again normally for it? Uh, who? I think Let's... it was a d20. Yeah, just roll a d20, um, and then I'll add what I think you should be added. You are barely hanging on. Mm-hmm. Barely. Like, you are starting to feel as if you're going, like, feral, almost. It's very close. You're on, you're, like... It ain't so If bad. If that aggressive guy was still aggressive towards you right now, he'd probably tip you over the edge. Mm-hmm. So what do you want to do? Listen here, buddy. I'm starting to slip. <laughs> One step closer to the edge. I am going, just out of kind of desperation a little bit, I'm going to back up and hold my hand out, and I'm going to cast a firebolt at the door. Okay. High or low? Low. Roll me a wisdom saving throw. He's dead now. Oh, he's real dead. Oh, no. What level was oh, that damn. fire bowl? Oh, it, it, was, it is a fire bolt. Okay, but it's a cantrip. It does two d ten damage though. Okay, if that makes any difference. It makes I think fire bolt would be funnier. I swear to God, the way you ended your entire character was I don't care about how big the size of the room is. I said fireball. Abaddon, I'm so sorry. You mm -hmm. shoot at this door with a fire bolt, not ball bolt. Uh, and mm -hmm. you feel the same magic slipping as the spell is being cast. And before you can cancel it, the chaotic energy explodes in your hands again, and you take 11 more points of damage. Okay. Your panic meter is uh, going up. Oh, it is a lot, yeah. Yeah. Abaddon's, Abaddon's is. You want to keep trying? Yeah. That's Don't do it. Avadon's a little, a little bit, a little bit. Mm. Uh, he's going to Oh good. Uh, I'm going to try to chromatic orb at a third level. Third level? Okay. Mm -hmm. Higher low. Are you... I'm feeling low again. I'm feeling low, I believe. Give me a wisdom saving throw. Please. Oh, come on. Dice! <clears throat> Abaddon. Uh-huh. You throw your chromatic orb at the door. You feel the energy in your hands. It creates the chromatic orb. You chuck it at the door. It hits the door and bounces. Okay. It bounces backwards, and you see it go to your right. Because you were kind of like leaned against the wall a little bit. And it goes to your right. And you hear it hit the wall behind you. You turn around and you see your chromatic orb in the guy's chest that you've charmed. Oh, shit. Roll your damage. Oh. Oh. Told you it was a trap. I don't think he's charmed to me. And it's wood, so you know what kind of damage I'm doing, right? Uh-huh. Give me your damage, please. Okay. 19 damage. Okay. Poor dude's probably gone. You, uh... I need you to make that roll that we talked about a long time ago, because this guy... Yeah. ...is dying in fire. <laughs> Oh, and there's another person in there that could just shank you for murdering their friend. Uh, okay. Abaddon, 
Um, you turn around in time to see this chromatic orb hit the guy square in the chest, and his his charmed expression kind of like fades into one of shock as his body just begins to burn and he falls over onto the bed just charred and there's this giant gaping hole in his chest at this point because he was a commoner uh that you have now accidentally burned barbecued and then his companion looks over and just starts screaming and you are currently frozen and cannot move. We're going to pause you there and go back to the other team. <laughs> um, hey, uh, I'm going to pop over to Isaac and Don Grave. Isaac and Don Grave, what's up? So what, what order? Has this happened now? Has Abaddon killed a guy now? You are unsure. Uh, well, no, I mean like, I, no, no, no. I mean like, this, in, this was happening while you guys were upstairs and probably coming yeah. to the downstairs. That's what I'm trying to find out. Yes, you are so, currently going downstairs to where this has now happened to Abaddon. At this point in time, Abaddon has blown a hole. In this is Alex saying this not for Don Gray's benefit, but just for uh -huh, the sake uh -huh, of time. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And yes. Other guy was screaming potentially. Is it? Do I hear anything at all? The roll me a perception. I don't know if a guy with a giant hole in his chest would be able to scream. Isn't there another guy in there? There is. There's, there's a girl. You're not wrong. A female, yes. Right, we're looking that. around for Abaddon, so I've got my listening ears on. Yep. Go ahead and give me a perception. Fourteen. You do not hear any screaming. Where'd Red Isaac? Where'd Red go? Uh, you see Elise at the front door. She's like, he jumped out a hole over there. Yeah, that tracks. And she so, out. she just sounds so fucking dumb. <laughs> what, what, what hole mm -hmm. was it? This one. She points to the right. This one over here. He jumped down this hole. That Why didn't that he one take there? the stairs? I don't know. Go take the stairs. All right, let me just jump a minute to right there. Up. Oh. <sighs> Path through the stairs, go all the way down. Yeah, those <laughs> stairs go all the way to the bottom. I'm I'm just gonna walk down the stairs. Okay. <laughs> I was thinking about just taking up and like get up, you all know right, what? Like, just jump down the hole too. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. All right. So, uh, Red, you've you've had a moment because they they came down the stairs and they looked around and they said something. So you you have like a a moment before they come down the stairs to you. Uh, what would you like to do in your current area? I want to take a look down this hallway. Sure, move to your right. Oh, hey, okay. it's that ladder that leads to that trap door that's currently padlocked. Oh. Okay, that completes that mental map. Um, this grate, can I take a peek down there? Is like, can I see, like, anything, like, a larger room below the grate? Um, you get down and you're kind of like looking down the grate and everything and there's, there's, you can't really see anything down there. You have dark, <gasps> sorry, you have dark vision, right? Mm-hmm. Well, then you can see down the grate without any issue. Um, it, it looks big enough for someone to, to get in, but it doesn't look like it goes anywhere. You're not entirely sure what this is for. Um, okay. give me a perception check. Sure. Never mind. I don't see shit, Captain. <laughs> uh, about this time, because you, you, were, you were walking around and, and you've gotten down, you're kind of looking in this grate here, and as you stand back up, uh, you hear Dawngrave call for you. Hey, what's up? Are you, down? Are you all right? What? Yeah, Elise I'm good. You, Elise said you jumped. Are you good? Here, Isaac, I'm going to... I'm assuming you wanted to I take the stairs, wanna, right? I didn't want to trust the stairs. I mean, I came down them just fine. So I'm bigger than you are. Is that blood? By a lot. Not by a lot. Hang on. Hang on. Isaac, are you still there? Sorry. Uh, the wife came up to give me something real quick. Possibly. Yeah, yes, I, I, I want to take the stairs, but I also know exactly what Isaac would do. So you 
You didn't I'm, take I'm the stairs? Gonna ju- no, just, I just jumped straight down the hole. But like, oh, you oh, also down jumped down the hole? Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, hang on. Let me, I'll just... Yeah, come on. Wisdom, intelligence, not our group strong suit. All right, Isaac, hang on. Let me just roll something. Um, okay. Uh, so, Don Grave, Red, you were having your conversation. And then Red, behind you, you hear Isaac... What do you say as you're falling? <laughs> <laughs> Look out below! And you hear a crash behind you. And Isaac, yeah. you take 11 points of fall damage as you yeah. crunch into the ground and a little bit of the spikes on like your, your armor get a little dented. Just kind of burst out of the ground a little bit. Like, oh, nailed it. I assume we hear him fall down. Oh, yeah. You heard him do Red, all of did, that. What was that, Red? What was what? Uh, hey, Donnie, what took you so long? I have determined what that was. Uh, all right. So before we continue, let me let me explain this room, and then we'll go to what you see, Red. Hang on. Okay, cool. Um, so in this particular room, this does look like the storeroom underneath the uh, bar. Uh at a quick glance, it looks like everything in here has been destroyed in one way or another. Um, and from what you can kind of tell, this room hasn't really been used very much. But as you're kind of looking around, it does seem cleaner than the rooms upstairs. Um, and as you're as you're looking around, you look at Donnie, you do see a little bit of a uh, blood trail up there to the north. And... Uh, and that that that's what you see up there, my good friend. Busted out like, hey guys, there's a blood trail. Huh. So there is, Donnie says, with the eyes in the back of his head since he can't turn around. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Go ahead. My God, there is. Uh, oh. All right. Uh, so no. I need to know what everyone is doing before you move forward. What is what so is my, the plan? Isaac will I yell am just back. Poking, up. So I'm taking my mirror so I can see this way without having my body exposed. Give me a stealth check then. Don Grave has stepped down a space. <laughs> oh no. Okay. And, um do I see these up here? You do. I would yeah. like to eyes of the grave, please. Excellent. Yes, you may eyes of the grave. Can I see how far you can see with that? Um, f- in- infinity miles. Right, right, right. But stone would stop it, right? All the miles. Uh, oh, I have to do the here, thing. Just the thing. It's sixty feet outside of total cover. Um, I don't think it's bothered by cover. Yeah, All it's right. bothered by cover. It can't be behind total cover. You right. Yeah. Apparently, I'm uh, exhausted. All right, cool. Uh, so, um, you don't see anything immediately in your line of sight, Don Grave. So, so that up there is not. That is not. Okay. Uh, red. You, mm-hmm. as you're kind of getting closer up here, and before you even pull out your mirror, um, you hear a wet crunching sound from around the corner, and you hear like a a, a small like a <laughs> rip rip, and you know what that sound is because you've done it many times. It's it's the sound of flesh being torn apart on the inside that room to your north. Great. All right. Does my mirror let me see? Uh, you can see a little bit. You don't really see anything specific. I'm just moving you that far. That's where your yeah, mirror so would be able to see. Yeah, so I can show my mirror and see. Um, you Case. see a lot of blood. You see a lot of bones. You see a lot of a lot of things with bones probably inside them. And then you retract yourself in your mirror. Well, hold on. So if I don't see, I see all of this in the mirror, but I don't uh-huh. see anything. Correct. Can I stealth to move to like here? You've already stealthed, so you will be using the same stealth. Does Red share his knowledge with us? 
Well, I before I move, I'm gonna turn back to you guys, and I'm gonna like. Hold on. I'm just gonna like point to my ears and then like make the like mime something eating and point down that hall. Gotcha. Uh, thought he said word to the girls. I don't want to go all the way upstairs. <laughs> It's either that or a yell up the hole. I probably wouldn't recommend yelling. So I'm just gonna. Well, it probably so hurt us to hear. It probably did hear you since you jumped down the hole. And I just want to poke my mirror out and look around the corner. All right, there's a hallway over there too. There is. Isn't that interesting? Hang on, Red. Hang on. All right. Red, buddy. Yes. All right. So you you get your mirror out, right? You're you're kind of like mm -hmm. looking around the corner. Uh, that's as far as you can see right now. Do you go a little farther? Yeah, I just want eyes on what the hell's even over there. Okay. <laughs> as you as you get your mirror and take a little bit more of a look in there what? from what you can see there appears to be a blue tinged old woman with white hair leaning over what appears to be the corpse of a giant with her hands covered in red as she is currently tearing into his chest and chewing and she looks up and sees your mirror and you can see her hand kind of unfurl and claws extend outward and she says welcome don't be afraid come come there's plenty to eat uh do you all Guys, wish to do I shouldn't be afraid but i am uh what is everybody's current action? Uh, I want to know. Did, did Red say that out loud? Do I have time to react to that or no? Yeah. She is not currently aggressing. What are you guys doing? Well, I guess I'll start walking up there. You know, Red says hello. it's fine. I, I'm just going to be kind and nice. Hello. Um, I'm looking for a missing friend. Oh. Interesting. I see, you, I see you killed a giant. That that's pretty cool. Isaac, you went upstairs. Why'd you go upstairs? I, how far can I go? Hang on. I want to know why Isaac went upstairs. Why'd you go upstairs? Well, they went that way. I was just trying to try to poke my head up and be like, "Hey, there's something down here." Okay. All right, and then you're going to go back downstairs, Yeah, I'm, I'm going back downstairs. I'm just, a, <laughs> I'm just literally, I'm trying to notify the girls, hey, something's down here. Okay, yeah. all right, and then you go back downstairs. Got yeah. it. Okay, I was just checking. I wasn't entirely sure. Uh, <laughs> nope, okay. done. Going I was, home. I was checking. You know, you never know these things. Yeah, Red always wanted to be eaten. Okay. Why, why, why are you bringing me out that for? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I was just trying to reconvene <laughs> with everybody. Okay. No, you're fine. You can put me there. Uh, <laughs> so, Dongrave, you can go further as far in as you want to. She is not aggressive. Uh, you also see the, the white-haired, blue-skinned person currently with their hands inside the giant just tearing and eating some of the flesh and she says welcome welcome to my home hello Does this look like what abaddon described to us when did abaddon oh the person the witch oh did he yeah. describe them yeah he did because i i knew what a hag was oh, okay uh she does appear to maybe be that particular thing uh i mean she's 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 not exactly what you remember bread this is not the same i would thing. like the eyes of the grave once more and check all the bones and the lady in the room sure uh you do not see any undead in this room good 
and you said you were looking for a friend. So she says, ah, oh, what kind of friend do you need? Yeah. Purple skin. Talks really nice. I don't think I've seen any of those recently. How long ago did you lose them? What do you think, like 30 minutes ago? My, my sundial says about 30 minutes, yeah. Interesting. Would you like to eat with me? Are you hungry? Currently, no, I, I, don't, I don't eat giant. I see. Very well. And she'll rip out more of the flesh and... <sighs> I need everyone who can see her to roll me a wisdom saving throw. Is it burst fear? Uh, yes. Can I think about my scarab and hope that it helps me some? I'll, I'll allow you to be able to think about it, sure. What does that do for me at the saving throw? It doesn't help you with saving throws. Okay, thanks. So. <laughs> I don't see her. Nineteen. <laughs> All right. So. Oh wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I have the big dumb. Hang on. Oh, oh. no, yeah, it's still plus eight. We're good. <laughs> I was about to say that's. I rolled insight for some reason, but. <laughs> she really enjoys that. <laughs> um. So, uh, you guys feel like your stomachs turn as she's ripping out pieces of this person's body. They must have recently died, like probably within the last couple minutes, because, who? that's some juicy bits. That's uh, making you sick, but you're able to hold it down. Can it, it I? It's a giant she's eating, right? That is correct. Can, okay. can... Can I can I request advantage on this roll since I dealt a lot with entombing people and stuff? I mean, you you already made it. I know, but like, what if I super make it and <laughs> I'm just able to be like, you know what? Sure, why not? Go ahead. You did not okay, roll better. Okay. <laughs> um. So she's just like, all right, well. Are these uh, human-sized skele skeletons everywhere? Or are they also giant size? Uh, these ones are human-sized. How fresh do they look? Those ones uh, appear to be picked clean, so not as fresh. Maybe like a day. Do you think I could... I could I'm going to... I need to reconvene with myself. All right. Well, while you you guys are handling this situation, I'm going to pop back over to Abaddon because it's been a second. Mm -hmm. Hey, Abaddon, you snap out of your funk. The, the lady is currently like pushed herself up against the wall away from you with tears streaming down her face. And she's just absolutely unhinged and uh, like she's like don't touch me i don't know anything about you stop killing people you know like whew. fireball and the guy's like gone he's right? dead he's gone big smoldering hole in chest no witnesses have it on oh good Um, I would like to inquire to this lady if I could have some of these bones from these piles over here. All right, hang on. I will come back to you as soon as oh, I'm Oh, I'm so sorry. I thought you switched back. I'm so sorry. No, it's okay. It's okay. All right, Abaddon. You have come out of your trance. Mm hmm What is your plan? What would you like to try now? I'm so sorry. Did not that was an option for this room. If you like, you can have a free hit on me for that. Or two. A free hit? Really? That's what you think this would do. No thanks. Just ask her to hit on you? Eh. Bard. No, I asked so her to sorry. punch so me. Yeah, I, I gotta do, Donnie. I no, gotta stop do. it. We're trying to have a moment. Shush. 
I will mute you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I cannot fix that, sadly. Uh -huh. I wish I could. So if it would make you feel any better, you can punch me as many times as you need to. That would not make me feel better. I don't know what you want me to do in this situation. We're locked in a room either. together where you just kind of appeared. Yeah. She's like the witch. She's like giving you this uh this this absolute look of disgust. And yeah, I've like slung down to the ground at this point. Sorry, I'm done. <laughs> God, I'm just figure out. Are you just going to be like this for a little bit? She's not going to attack you. I'm going to pull out my... I, do I have a dagger yet? Nope, because I never freaking bought one. You didn't steal one either. Nope. I'm going to pull out my short sword, and I'm going to start just backhand jabbing under the door. Okay. That'll take you a little bit. Mm -hmm. All right, I will go back to the other party members. Uh, all right, sorry, Dongrave, you asked if you could have some bones. I'm asking the lady if I can have some bones. Oh, do you like bones? Yeah, bones are great. Oh. When they're not alive. That is fair. I don't like bones that are alive either. Not a big fan of that. Are you sure you're not hungry? Yeah, we ate breakfast this morning. I'm still full. Fair, fair. Thanks, though. Well, I don't know because those are my sister's bones, you see. They were here earlier today, and I'm afraid they haven't been back in a while. How many, uh, how many sisters are there? Just three of us. So you and two more? Yes. Okay. Um, I guess Red, you already asked about Abaddon. I don't... Yeah. So are you sure? Like, purple, purple skin, talks really fancy, nice clothes. Did she mention seeing him before in the forest? Sorry, I keep bumping my volume control with my shirt. I was asking <laughs> Kath if she had mentioned seeing him before in the forest prior to tower time. Uh, I don't... She did not confirm that, no. Okay, well, I will, I will add that uh, he mentioned running into some... Oh gosh, how did he describe them, ladies, that in the forest... Uh, how long ago was that? A few days, right? Yeah, a good handful of days. Yeah, a few days ago. Um, does, does that does that ring a bell at all? Um. Well, my sisters and I do go outside quite a bit for new prey. I uh, I don't. I have not personally spoken to one. Would you like to wait for my sisters to show up? Uh, do you know about how long they'll be? Oh, they were just going to go get some fresh meat. I'm sure they'll be back soon. Oh, then they'll be bringing Abaddon along shortly. I'm sure it says Alex. <laughs> Am I able to hear this? Yeah, you can hear everything. Or has there been any movement from the girls to come downstairs? Uh, They're like standing at the top of the stairs. About yep. to come down. Okay, so... Isaac will... uh. He's gonna slowly back up a little bit. Okay. The hat. His, the person has not seen mouth. you, so. Yeah, he put his finger to his mouth as in be quiet. Okay. They will try to wait. walk as quietly as possible. He will uh, wait down here for the girls to get down here. Okay. Fair enough. Do Do you mind if we go hang out somewhere else while we wait for your sister to show up? I guess. 
Well, if you'd like to, sure. Just try not to break anything. <laughs> I'll do my best. Thank you. Oh, we'll see you soon then. <laughs> I'm gonna slowly back out of the room with my back to where my back is. Okay. I am also going to be doing the same. Uh, what's up this stairwell? Um, yeah. it appears to just go outside. There's a bunch of cold oh, like one air. Of those side Entrances. Yeah, it looks like that's probably like a cellar door. Isaac will whisper that there is another hallway on the other side. Yeah, that doesn't that doesn't lead anywhere. Did you already look? Yeah. Ugh. Well, I'm gonna find a wall to lean against down here. I guess I I have no idea. What's this on the ground right here? What What are you looking at? So it's just uh, like a broken That's just a broken box, yeah, yeah. Well I guess I guess we just hang out and see if the other two know anything. Or like I don't I don't know where else Avril would be. Yep. Unless you guys wanna look around some more, do if you wanna do like a s uh investigation. Um if there's something in this room that I could find that would help us, yes, I would like to do an investigation. So <laughs> I uh I would like to head upstairs because seeing them, I'm, I'm just gonna want to keep an eye on police. I'm a meander about the basement. I didn't, I didn't jump down the hole, so I haven't seen the other. Room. Oh, that is okay. Uh, so red, just when kidding. you were sorry, hold on, I just I need to to get red where the girls were. Hang on. Uh, so they were actually here, red, when uh. Because they were about to head downstairs with everybody, so that's where you get you you kind of like walked upstairs to see them, and they're kind of there, and then you're kind of there, and then you're staring at each other awkwardly. That's what's currently happening. Cool. Back downstairs. Sorry. Go ahead, Don Grave. Onward. Onward. You know, I know you said it didn't go anything, but I want to check that hallway again. It's weird to have a hallway going nowhere. You guys are looking around, you're looking around. So in this particular room, from what you guys can see, um, this does appear to be some kind of jail cell that was kind of broken and everything. Uh, this does appear to be a ladder, but there is a trap door above you, but it's like 30 feet up and it appears to be locked from the bottom side. Um, there is also a grate here that kind of leads into the ground. Uh, other than that, there's nothing else in here. Come on, Dottie. What? No, hang on, I'm not ready. One second. <laughs> Kath, if I stand here and measure the width of the walls roughly, about how big would you say they are? The walls? Like how thick how thick is this wall right here? Um eh, the wall's probably about a foot thick. Okay. What are we doing? Well, we're gonna stack dwarves and I'm gonna see if I can get you up to that uh that uh room there. Alright. I guess. How tall guess. are you both? <laughs> oh. I am. I'll look you up, Don Grave. Hang on. Trying to remember. I think I'm like, I'm pretty close to max for a dwarf. Don Grave is four seven. Hang on, how, Isaac. How I'm high pulling did you, you say up. It was? Thirty feet. Oh yeah, we're not gonna hit that then. It's thirty feet off the ground. Is that what you said? Yes, Isaac. You put yourself at four feet. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so you're like a minimum. Am I? Okay, cool. You're a tiny little dwarf. Yeah. So. Like 80 dwarf. Okay, well. If I look down this grate, is it just like. Is there just dirt on the other side of it or what? Uh, give me a search check. Sorry, investigation. Search is 3.5. Nine. Uh, so you're kind of looking down this this grate here. It looks as if it just ends, like it's it's just a hole in the ground. It doesn't look as if it goes anywhere. It's kind of weird. Is it like walls straight down from the floor, or is it like a big open area? It's it's like it's just a single one by one square area that you could like jump down in, and then then that's it. I that sounds claustrophobic as fuck. I'm not going down there. No. <laughs> I'll check it out. Give me an investigation check, Isaac. 
I give him guidance after he said I'll check it out. Cool. I forget what guidance does for it. 1d4 on a ability check. Okay. Investigation. And then 1d4. So 16, 17, 18. 18. <clears throat> Isaac? Yes? Um, you notice that the grate is kind of loose. And and you get a little closer to it, and you're, and you're looking at it here. And you notice that the grate can go either down or up. Like, you could totally pull it up and off and, like, jump down. But you also notice that you could push the grate down, and it depresses a little bit. And... And then you kind of, like, scooch it a little to the right, and it starts to slide into the wall. And, and you, you keep, like, pushing it in, and you notice that the grate is, like, sliding into the wall, like, kind of like a glass door, except it's just the grate. And as you push it all the way in, and, and you feel it there on the edge, there's still a little bit of a lip left, so you go push, and you feel a little click. And the wall in front of you shakes a little bit. And then it moves upward. Oh. And, and it opens a, a passage on the other side. Oh, shit. Um, you might want to get red. All right, we'll go get red. All right. Was that loud? It was not terribly loud, but it was noticeable. Like would she would she have noticed? Probably. You don't. I tell have Red of our findings and quickly go back. I will follow them back down. I was gonna let them know, like, hey, I'm. <clears throat> Before I go down, I'm gonna whisper to Elise and uh, Kasula that there's, I think, one of those witches that Abaddon was talking about is here, and there's potentially two more gonna be coming. Okay. We'll watch the upstairs. Oh, I'm gonna go check it out. I didn't see that. Man, he just goes. Okay. Fucking Leroy Jerkins. All right. So as you are, as you are kind of like coming this way, um, you hear to to the south. You hear some movement happening to the south. Uh, and and uh, and as you're you're kind of listening, give me a give me a perception check. Yay! The thing I'm terrible at. Boop. Ooh. Yay! I've been good on perception this run. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. Um. So as as you're listening from the hallway to the south, you hear more of those like that that airy voice from the hag in the other room, and and you hear two voices coming down the hallway. And and they sound as if they're dragging something. Okay. Hello. This is uh this was a pretty big haul today, you know. I think I think we caught a lot more today. And and then you hear a response, yes, yes, I think we have. And uh, I think I saw some more adventures out the way. Sister must be very pleased, very pleased. Ah, oh, this is going to be very exciting. I wonder how many more we can fit in the cages. So oh. How fun, how fun. Did you see what happened to the other one? Very interesting. And they're they're kind of bickering back and forth a little bit, and their voices seem kind of far off. It's echoing a little bit, but they are starting to get closer. You just see Isaac turn back, and he looks down the hallway to him. You just see him undo his axe and slowly bring it down. And you're going to see him. And you do see two doors up here to the north. Move up here. Okay. So he's giving them time to get ready. Red, Dongrave, what you doing? I will. I guess pull my weapons good. out. And I'm going to stealth. I will also be stealth. Okay. And when I'm moving forward. I really hope I don't ruin that for you. <laughs> <laughs> me too, buddy. Me too. But, hey, you know. Ten. Nice. All right. They're far away. 
It's got double digits. It does have double digits. All right. So you guys are you guys are kind of sitting there for a moment, and then the voices begin to fade a little bit, and then they stop. So we could hear them. For a moment, Isaac, you could hear them much better. But now that you guys have kind of walked into the room, uh, you do hear them, but they seem to be getting quieter. Um, which way are they come from? From the south. South. Okay. Uh, pull my mirror out. I'm gonna try and peek around the corner. Okay. Go ahead and peek. I see. Boop. All right. Oh. So, from what you can tell, you kind of look down this way, and, and it appears to be just a solid wall. Right over here. Stairs. That was too more. We probably need the girls here. We don't want to get caught with our pants down. It's a little cramped in here. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll open a door. I don't. Why, why would you just do that? Okay, so as you guys kind of meander into the next room, uh, you see uh, this this room appears to be much better maintained than the rest of it. I don't know what that is that up there in the corner. I I don't actually know how to get rid of that. Uh, uh, no, I think in the corner. I think we should leave. I. I can't grab that, whatever that is, but that's not there. <laughs> that Seems that weird a, that thing. Can you see that? Against God. <laughs> that's a big ice cube over there. There's an ice cube, but I can't grab it nor get rid of it. It's not there though. I don't know what to do with that. So just ignore that. That's not yeah. there. <laughs> that ice cube seems to be in a an affront to God and everything that's meant oh by it. Oh my gosh. I will destroy this entire campaign. Except for the ice cube. <sighs> Okay, I can fix this. Hang on. I, you're going to harass <laughs> me about it. Give me a second. She's going to crawl over it. In stream immediately. <laughs> so I fixed it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. I mean. Anyway. Um, so, what do you guys want to do? Like, you, you've opened up this room. It does appear as if there are multiple doors in this particular area. Um, there are a lot of tables and things like that in here. Sacks on the right-hand side. It looks like there is even like a, a small cooking area to the right. Uh, do you want to keep going in? What's the plan? What are you doing? I was going to tell him, all right, we found a bigger space. Let's get the girls down here. Yeah, fine. All right. Uh, for <clears throat> sake of time, I will grab them and pull them down, and then you may enter the room. So go ahead. Awesome. Appreciate that. All right, cool. Boom. Right, I got a feeling that yeah. tonight's gonna be... There you go. Good They're tonight. in this room. <laughs> okay. Has anything new happened, Cap? I feel angst in the air. <laughs> uh, so... When you guys are looking around, um, you actually see uh, on all of the doors, there appears to be some kind of magical symbol, like some kind of like ornate symbol just around the door. And there appears to be some kind of handprint in the center of each of them. Is it the same handprint? Well, like it's a painted handprint, like as if you would finish the circle by putting your hand in it. Is it the same handprint on all of them? Sure, because somebody painted a hand on all of them. Like, they didn't paint their hand and go smack. They painted a hand. Oh, okay. Sorry. I'm a, I'm a it's not, not a handprint. It's a picture of a handprint. I'm a, right. I, I, I may have accidentally tried to open that. I was trying to knock it. Uh, he's dead now. <laughs> I, I mean, possibly. I was trying to, like, tap it and see if I got anything back from it. All right, so do you do you tap it? I'll tap it with my hand. Right, that's fine. Like, right. not, not sure if we want these doors closed or not. Well, I mean, Abaddon. Uh, while you're kind of chilling in your room right now, uh, it doesn't smell too good. Dead body does that. It smells like pork, probably. Barbecue. I'm gonna attempt to cast prestidigitation. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sure. I mean, clean this body real quick so it doesn't stink anymore. That's fine. Uh, does it? Does it like clean up smell or keep a body fresh or any of that? It just it. It cleans. 
and technically that's not a living being anymore. You're not <laughs> wrong. I can clean our soil composing. object. Okay, sure. So you can clean the blood off the guy's clothes. Yeah. Yeah, I could do that, I guess. And I can also I can also create an odd odor. So I wanna make it smell like a lake. Oh sure! A different smell. Cover it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. <laughs> I'll also attempt to cast polymorph on myself again. Sure. Give me a high or low. Hi. And hang on. All right. Give me a wisdom saving throw. This is absolute essence of Abaddon trying to push a body Are up you... under a rug. Oh no, Abaddon. Fucking kidding me. <laughs> okay. Maybe you take the night off, pal. I have rolled nothing above an eight. Um... You just want us to go fight the hags, you know, let you kind of hang, hang out. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Shh, 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 shh. Hang on. Abaddon, you, you stand up. You position yourself in a way that should be fine and um you're not looking at the door you go to cast polymorph on yourself and you feel as if your spell is gonna work this time what are you polymorphing into an ape an ape okay you cast the spell but you don't feel it work and when you look up the girl has now turned into an ape. <laughs> oh my god. She's like, I'll take you up for that. Sorry. Keep going. Uh, your spell appears to not have affected you, but another person in the room. And she is well, very upset. I will drop it very fast. <laughs> what are you doing? doing? I'm trying to see if I can do something to get us out of here, but a pen is not working. I'll turn around and start just stop punching the door. Okay. Sure. Uh so Isaac, you come up to tap this door and then you you hear the door to your left like getting beaten on. Just to the left. Oh. oh. Something's knocking that over one? there. Yeah, that one. I guess we're paused. We can't currently move. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Go ahead. Oh, something's knocking over there. Let me, I guess, everybody get ready to smack it. We'll knock back. Hey, the ice cube went away. Yeah, Why? do our secret knock. <laughs> he literally goes, bop, 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 bop. Do I hear this? Uh, roll me perception. Mm hmm. Ah, you. You do not hear it. Is there like a bad aura in there or something? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> it's, uh, I'm, it's, it's because I moved my room around. That's why. <laughs> it's the other corner. The other corner of my room. Frick you, corner. <laughs> Move the stuff to this corner. That, that Miss Spells counter is going up tonight. <sighs> this guy is foaming right now. I haven't, even counted. I haven't even counted. I haven't even counted. They've gone off. Yeah, they've gone yeah, off. Yeah, it didn't hit what I wanted to. They hit yourself. All right, I'll, uh, <sighs> I, I guess I'll try to put my hand on the, the thing, guys. And he puts I'm just his continuously hand on the... beating on this. Yeah, that's why you couldn't hear him because you didn't stop like just beating no. on the door. I'm just I'm wailing on the door. Yeah, I'll put my hand on the, on the hand thing. All right, so so Isaac, you put your hand on the hand thing, and nothing happens. Is there a door handle? There is not a door handle. Are you doing anything other than putting your hand on it? Uh, is there anything I can do? Push? I don't know. You tell me what you're doing. It's, if there's no handle, I get uh, uh, push door. You try to push door. It does nothing. All right. Don Grave, are you leaving those doors open or are you shutting them? I, I think I'm I think I'm watching it out. Wait, no, okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna shut one. Okay. And then I'm gonna stand here with the door like cracked so it can so I can see. Okay. I, I wanna be able to see like this area. Okay. Yeah, check your DMs. You need a second. So whichever side that needs to be, I just I just wanna keep an eye so that they're not like wide open, but but we know what's going. 
Sure. Uh, you are keeping a lookout. You are the watch guy. Casula, uh, do you know any? Do you see any magic or anything this thing could be using? Uh, I mean, usually if it's something like that, uh, you're probably. I, I put my hand on the hand thing, and it's not doing things. Well, did you put magic into it? I can't do magic. Well, then that's your problem. So scooch. All right. Well, fine. I didn't want to. Here, I'll. If it's something comes out and attack you, step out the way. Uh huh. <sighs> All right. Hang on. And she uh she puts her hand up to it, and you see like a little bit of energy like seep into the handprint on the door, and it glows like a purplish color. And you all hear like a click in front of Kasula. Abaddon, you're just kind of beating on this door. And then all of a sudden the door gives way and you are falling outward. Uh, give me a dexterity saving throw. As I should note too, I'm also crying at this point. Okay. Or almost. It's fair. Abaddon is. Uh-huh. Dexterity saving throw. Give me a dexterity I'm, I'm saving that. throw. Oh, <laughs> Okay. You all can't see that. Let me just, let me reveal that to everybody. There we go. This poor okay. guy. It's fine. Isaac's so, behind, uh, Isaac's like behind Kasula and he's got his axe up and like baseball bat swinging motion. So hold on, hold on, like hold ready. on. As Kasula opens the door, you guys just see Abaddon like burst outward and fall into her arms and they both just kind of fall onto the ground in a tangled mess. Abaddon, you're on top and she's looking at you up on the ground like, what are you doing? And Isaac's there just like, ah, ah. Holy Hi, shit. Abaddon. I will. Oh, I they will, were going to eat you. I will back off. Can I uh, Can see inside? Yes, you see the body. I'm on, my, I'm on my ground. I'm just I'm on my my ass still. Uh, yeah. What the hell happened? That dude dead. This guy is dead. Oh, the witches must have got him. Who are you? She is too stunned and scared to speak. Leave her alone. Who said that? <laughs> that is the god saying she is too scared and stuff. Son of a bitch, they're in the room. <laughs> like, see, like, she's, like, I was, like, shaken and scared. She is very shaken. She is very scared. <clears throat> okay. She appears to have been crying recently. A lot happened in the past ten minutes. What could have possibly happened? Why is he dead and the rest of you not? I'll point to me. Oh, I would oh. like Abaddon. Just go ahead and come on out of the room, buddy. Yeah, just just get just, out. Just go, just you go over it. there. Huh. Just go stand in the corner. Okay, so we have all seen Abaddon get like before when he accidentally or purposefully shot a guy with fire, right? Correct. Yeah. Okay, is Abaddon coming out of the room. If Kasula moves, sorry, I can see I can see the singed body from here. So I turned around to see Abaddon. Um, and I'm gonna holler at Abaddon to come over here. Okay, I will slowly make my way to you. Kasula will like give you like a like a pat, like a hey, okay, as you're walking by. No. Oh, okay. I'm gonna whisper something to Abaddon. You won't be privy to it until later. I see. Very good. Uh, are you gonna DM me? Is this what was this happening? Yes. Okay. So. Oh, I'm still on private role. This person is just like done not able to do anything she is uh she is very 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 shaken like she can't really do anything right now all right so like i'm just gonna say like hey so we're gonna get you out of here i you don't have to answer me anything um does it look as she, does she look malnourished Mm, no, I mean she looks as if she's been fed. Uh, probably not as as good as like a noble or something, but she has had food. Okay, we're gonna get you out of here. Um, do you know? I, I, fuck. Do you know how long have you been here? And before she can answer, Don Grave, give me a perception roll. 
Oh, ah. God. I'm going to roll with disadvantage because I'm talking to Abaddon right now. Okie dokie. I like how collectively as a group we find ways to shoot ourselves in the feet. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's better than any of my rolls tonight. I'll be right back. <laughs> no. Okay. All right, so Don Grave, you and Abaddon are chit-chatting. Uh, Elise is there. She's kind of, like, concerned for Abaddon because he appears to be very shaken. Um... <sighs> I need Abaddon to be here. Gosh darn it. No. As long as he's not here, we can't die. You oh. can. Kath, how long has this guy been dead? Uh, probably, like, five minutes. Ooh, can't do that one. Abaddon's had a whole chance to have a fit and back, so, you know. A couple times. Uh, Mr. Bunny says he has a headset on. Keep going. Okay. All right, so, um, Abaddon is obviously looking behind you, um, but I need him to roll perception at disadvantage, so I will roll for him. Hang on. How are you, uh... How do you roll it? Hold on a second. Okay. Bye. I'm here. I'll roll it. Roll me perception and disadvantage because you're stressed. Uh-huh. Oh, I'm... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, exhaustion is yes. what it's called. In this. I understand. Yeah, disadvantage and ability check, so I yeah. have to roll... Hmm? Uh, disadvantage. Roll. Yes. I write it roll on that. I don't know. Do I count that or no? Where are we uh, rolling? I didn't see it. I rolled it in D&D &D Beyond. It was a six. It was a 16 and a six. Go ahead and try again in actual boundary. So nice. Hold on. Let me just do, do this. Hold uh -huh. on. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Oh! Oh! No! Oh, huh? <laughs> Double map! Look at this guy go! It was Wowzers. Wow. It was the fucking room. <laughs> in this stupid corner. All the weaves of the universe come back to him. Oh God. God. Yeah, Matt. <laughs> All right, so Avedon, while you and Dongrave are talking, Dongrave obviously has his, his back to the hallway, right? Mm -hmm. And you are... You are taking a gander past him, uh, kind of still in a bit of a daze, right? Because uh -huh. of everything that's been happening. Uh, and you see in the hallway behind him uh, that white-haired, blue-skinned person come around the corner. And also down to the south, you see two more also surrounding the corner down here. And they turn towards you guys. God, let go of that one. And they turn towards you guys. And they uh, are ready to go. So, Abaddon is aware of what is happening. They are going to get a sneak attack on Dongrave. Whoa, whoa, hold on. The door is, like, like barely open. Like, e this you're is, fully this in the doorway, is a, bro. I forgot to... What? You're fully in the doorway, bro. But I've got... I'm holding the door shut. Like, if I was peeking out of a closet. Abaddon um, rolled a nat 20 to see through it. And? And he could see the hags. Yeah. Why are they getting a sneak attack on me? They don't even know I'm here yet. They know you're there. Okay. We are Just talking it all out in the room. I'm sorry. Abaddon, roll me... Uh, roll me, everybody, everybody roll me initiatives. Everybody roll me initiatives. I have to roll this at disadvantage, technically. You do. Because it is the thing that tells you. Yay! What is happening with my rolls right now? Why are they better now? Uh, unclear. 18. I'm going to roll terrible. Watch, come my actual turn, I'm going to blow myself up again. Please don't. I'd rather not, but we'll see what happens. Okay, nobody rolled the same one. Okay, so you 
actually go before the Hags Abaddon. So they're about to sneak attack Dongrave. You can get an attack off first, and then they get to go, and then we'll go to the top of the order. So Abaddon, what do you want to do? Huh? What do you want to do? Is it me first? You are above them, yes. Oh, that's true. Um, uh, I will... Uh, and tele can I tele telekinetically shove Dongrave to here? As your bonus action? Uh, yeah. Dongrave, do you resist? I allow it. Okay, you can shove Dongrave to the left. There you go. Um, Actually, okay, so I need to know the state of the door. Uh, it is currently slightly ajar. So they don't immediately see Elise, right? They're not now getting a sneak attack on Elise if I moved out of the way. One of them will. All right, Red, you'll be fine. <laughs> uh, is it? I can fully see her, yeah. Yeah, you can see her, and you can see her. Well, this one's partial cover. But you can see this one. I need her to make me a dexterity saving throw. This one here? Like, okay. Against the magical effect. Bam. Magical effect. Let's see. I got a 15. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah, frick. Takes 21 points of necrotic damage. And I hit Ow. 10 points. What and... the flip, man? I mean, that's fair. Yeah. And right. I have a small tether attached to her. Awesome. You're stealing energy, yeah, yeah? Yeah. Excellent. I am ready. I'm ready. Did you get your health back? Uh-huh. Excellent. Anything else you want to do on your turn? This. Uh oh. Come at me. <laughs> and I will do that to kind of point to that there's something through the door. You guys definitely see Abaddon shoot something through the door. And then, uh, let's see, this one's gonna shoot at you, Abaddon. Hell. Okay. Flip around. The hell. Uh. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna do this one. Oops. Okay. Good. You couldn't see that. That <laughs> <laughs> cat's like, whoops! I didn't do that. Oh wait, you can't see anyways. Ha ha. Uh. I rolled an 18 to hit you. No. Are you flashing it? I'm shielding. Shielding. All right, so My you guys, excellent. So you guys see from the door that gets kind of blown off of its hinges, a giant shard of ice hits Abaddon's shield and shatters in front of him. And then there's going to be a second one. Hold on. It rolls a 21 or higher, it hits me. Nope, a second one comes through, hits your shield and shatters again. Uh, mm -hmm. and then one's gonna go towards Elise. Ah! My dice, I dropped it. No, Elise it said go? no. No, where'd it go? Ultra Instinct Elise is at it again. Oh, it's like, ooh, what's on the ground? <laughs> <laughs> I swear, to God, like, if Elise just goes, hey, what's that? And picks up a, like, a gold piece or something. <sighs> All right. Well, I got a nine on my dice. <clears throat> so, sure, you guys, I will allow you to say, hey, Elise says, what's that? And she, like, leans down to pick something up off the ground, and you see an ice shard go over her head and crash into the wall beside her. Because, again, I can't hit her. <laughs> I will kill this NPC one day. It's fine. No. Uh, top of the order then. So, <laughs> Red, you see something attacked Elise. What, what, what do you want to do? So, he's going to try to attack Elise. I'm just going to look in the room. It's like, get to cover. And I, I shift. And let's get my HP going. 
See if I can remember to hit the right one this time. Uh huh. I, I can only hope this continues until we all reach level 20. Dang it. And there's just an absolute hatred from Kath for this one NPC that will not Three get hit. <laughs> I've hit her before. It's just recently I haven't been able to. No. Get more beast you like. A little more than normal. And see what the hell. Hold on. Hold on. Uh-huh. Dang it. Ruler, work. Five. Five. Fifteen. You oh. see the three hags in the hallway staring at you guys. <laughs> the one in directly in front of you is the one covered in blood. Oh, cool. Uh, they all went before me, didn't they? They did all have a special attack, yeah. 13. A 13 misses. All right, follow-up attack. You see her kind of nimbly uh, dance around your attack. The second one hits. Yeah, dance through that one. Is that one injured? No, none of them are injured. Yep. Oh, no, wait. No, I lied. This one is injured. Yeah, okay. one got bonked by Abaddon, <laughs> didn't it? Sorry, I forgot. This one, this it, one did get injured, yes. Bottom one, yeah. For 11 points of damage with the silver mace. All right, so this one is also now damaged. There we go. You said 11? Yes. I got you. 11 points of damage. Okay. She looks very happy to see you. All right. And that's my turn. Okie dokie. Next in the order is the wonderful Abaddon once again. What would you like to do? Uh, hold on. Uh-huh. That happens. If it'll do it. Thank you. Oh, that was terrible. Oof. All right. They lose another nine points. And you heal the corresponding amount, of course. Okay, half, so that would be four. Yep. What else would you like to do, my friend? Um, tell me, tell me what you want. Ba, ba, uh, ba, bonus ba, action. Ba, ba. I will look at the one. Do I recognize any of them in the hallway at the moment? Yes. Which one? This one over here, but you can't. I guess you can't actually see that one where you are. Never mind, you can't see it. You don't notice any of them. Oh. Now you can see this one. This one looks familiar. You notice nothing. I'll look at her <laughs> and I will say, I wish you didn't invite me to your stupid house. And she needs to make a wisdom <laughs> saving throw. <laughs> Damn, your house is dumb. <laughs> okay, I got you. I got you. You said wisdom. Drapes look like crap. Wisdom saving throw, yeah. Wisdom. Okay. Uh, let me see. Wisdom, wisdom, wisdom. Ooh, I got a nineteen. She's fine. Yeah. Anyway, Die. they got high wisdom. Yeah. They got high. Uh huh. She just she smiles a really creepy smile. Her lips kind of curl back, and the sharp teeth inside covered in blood, just sort of like. <laughs> Ah, and she laughs. Mm hmm All right, is that your turn? Yeah. Okie dokie. Uh, it's Kasula's turn. Uh, mm. So, let's see. What do we got? What do we got? What do we Fireball, got? Fireball, closed door. Um, <clears throat> Hang it in there. <laughs> that was your choice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm. Uh, I don't think I can not hit red here. Hang on. Well, I can take get, it if you gotta hit him. You know, sacrifices have to be made. 
No, I don't think she can place that anywhere it wouldn't hit herself either, so never mind. I will do Scorching Ray. We're going to Scorching Ray this one. That red is attacking. Focus one of them down. That is that is her plan. All right, Scorching Ray. Let me attack. Do, do, do. Uh -huh. She hits with three of them. Do, 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 do. Uh. Okay, she does a lot of damage. Got it. So, Ray, the one... Sorry, Ray. Red, the one in front of you gets hit by three scorching rays. Uh, and you see them kind of go pew, 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 right on her face. And Kasula goes, okay. And then she'll step back for someone else to step in. Uh, then it is the hag's turn. Red, buddy, you're right there. I am. Yeah. You're wrecked. Um, I need you to give me a wisdom saving throw. No, no. Is it against fear? It's against paralyzation. Oh, no. So not fear, no. Oh, yes! Can you see? Darn it. All right. So so you see the one in front of you. She holds up her little gray staff. Uh, actually, the one behind her. This one, this one here that Abaddon is currently attached to. She holds up her little gray staff and she chants something at you. And you feel like as if your body wanted to be chained, but you just like broke out of it without just kind of like brush off the shoulder kind of thing. Uh, she tried to hold purse in you and you just totally blew right through that. Good job proud of you um otherwise <laughs> this one is going to try to slam attack you yep yep because she's right on next to you so she's going to do two melee attacks against you okay um one will miss one got a 21 is that enough to hit you with a 21 yes i have an 18 very good sir Oh, oh, okay. All right. No, I have a so nineteen right now. You take Thanks. twelve bludgeoning damage, and then sixteen cold damage as her slam attack hits you, and you just feel the cold energy course through your body from one of the slam attacks. So 12 and how much? 12 and 16? 12 and 16. Half of its cold damage. This one is going to shoot Elise again. This cat is now obsessed with hitting Elise. Hang on. What is her AC? <laughs> it's, uh, I just hear the annoyance in her voice. <laughs> Okay, that one misses. Let me roll my second attack. <laughs> this one hits? Okay. Uh, Elise dodges the first icicle, but she gets hit with the second one. Hold on real quick. Okay. I want to see something. You can't redirect my attack. Probably. Attack roll. I'm attacking, and she's getting hit. Are you going to stop me? Uh, well, there's nothing else I get in this room that I could really smack with it, so I can't. I guess I'll let you... I mean, wait, well, wait a second. We don't need this NPC. Wow. 
<laughs> just fires it in the back, closes the door. Okay. No witnesses. I mean, so character. she's going to be attacking with 23 cold damage. Red, you will be taking half of that. So you're taking 11 points of cold damage. Elise is taking 13. Bam. Which one hit her? This one? This one over here, yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> and that's their turns. Uh, it's Elise's turn. She's going to go, ow. Uh, she's going to scoot away. Uh, and she's going to cast Bless. She's going to bless you, and she's going to bless you, and she's going to bless you. Actually, can she see? She can see Red if she's there. So she's going to she's gonna hit all of you guys before she walks away, and she's like, ah, to go over here, that hurt. There you go. That is Lisa's turn. Don Graves, sir, it is your turn. Okay. I would like to turn around. Okay. Throw open the door. You see the back of red. I see the back of red. I'm glad he wasn't right in front of the door. I was afraid that it was going to hit him. <laughs> okay. For my next attack, move, action, thing that I'll do. Uh-huh. I'm going to cast... This one is unwounded, just so you know. Ugh, not that, because red's right there. <laughs> he can take it. Can he? He's already got hit a couple times. I don't want to get hit one. So instead, we'll do... Summon Celestial! Ooh, okay. Let us grab a Celestial being up in her... Let's see, let's see. He's gonna come in as defender. Okay. And it's gonna land right there. Aren't they like large size though? They're whatever, yes. Is that, is that my unable to put them in here? Is that two by two? Yeah, that's a two <sighs> by two. There's okay, not- Okay, I changed my idea, my- I. Play it again. I'm That's sorry. Fine. There's not no, currently no, a okay. space okay. for them to fit. I'm sorry. Instead, I'm going to move this around until it doesn't hit red. <laughs> like that. There you go. And on that point in space, I shall cast Flame Strike. Oh, okay. that's new. They all need a dex. I've used it at least once before. They all need to make a dex save. Dex save. All right. Red, your beard's getting a little singed. Do I need to move down a little more so he doesn't get singed? No, 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 no. I'm just like, he's not actually getting singed. I was just being dramatic. I know. Grow back. <laughs> His poor shoe is uh, going to get burnt. The highest person rolled a 13 on their decks. So. Woo! Get it. Nice. Disappointing. All right. Uh, 12 fire damage and 13 radiant damage. Excellent. All right. All of them are now damaged. Uh, the one in front of red and this one are actually pretty, pretty damaged at this point. Okay. Now, Dongrave will close the door again. Okay. <laughs> All right. Anything else you'd like to do, good sir? Nope. I, uh, I can't spare the dying on Kasula. Okay. Isaac, it's your turn. Now, can I do an intimidation check and still be able to uh, swing my axe? No. Yeah, that would be an action. Oh. I don't get to get to do things. <sighs> All right. Me. Boom. Do, 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 do. Rar. Rar. And I guess I will go ahead and rage. They all look a little singed. <laughs> a little? A lot singed, actually. That was 75 damage between the three of them. You know what? I really want to do this. I, it's 
kind of stupid, but I, I want to do it anyways. Okay. I would, I would go. With, I would like, like to uh, do an intimidation on them. Sure. You, you just Isaac runs in there. You just hear run. Give me an intimidation check. Boom. <laughs> Sixteen. All right. Hang on. Let me. That just... was gonna be good, and then it fell back over. <laughs> Let's see. Like I never get to do cool stuff other than hits, so I, I wanted to try this one time. That is fair. So that's what you get for playing barbarian. These two over here <laughs> seem unaffected. This one does seem a little shaken. Sweet. I did things. You said that took my action? Yes, sir. Because you basically go in there and you gave him the stink eye. Run! I'm going to hip check that one just for, you know, not being. Sure! <laughs> Bonus action. Yeah, do it! Because <laughs> I don't have, I can't attack. So I'll, you know, <laughs> just run. Ha! Smack. Ow! Yes. All right. Uh... Yeah. An 18 and 18 hits. Uh, damage. I kick her in the chin. Ow. <laughs> All right. <laughs> anything else on your turn, sir? Um, no, since I can't attack or anything else, that'll be the end of it. All right, Red, sir, it is your turn. All right. Mito, I'm so glad you spent all that time intimidating that one. <laughs> because she really fucked up. No, oh, no. <laughs> uh, bonus action. I'm going to second level Searing Smite. Okay. Hashtag bless. Okay, with Which bless, one? you hit. Without bless, you would have missed. Do I need to separate any of the damage? Nope. How much damage? 23 points of damage. Nice. Okay. Got it. I need a constitution saving throw. Constitution. Whoop. Ooh. I only got a nine. She bursts into fire. Oh, good. That one is having <laughs> a bad day today. Like, oh, shit, a dwarf. I'm on fire. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She's immune to cold, not fire. Yeah, well, that's unfortunate. Oh, hey, look. The backswing. <laughs> A 20 hits? Give me your damage. Better on fire again. Another nine points of damage. I can't do that. I can only do that once per turn. All right. Uh, all three of these hags appear to be in the same amount of pain right now, except this one in front of you is on fire and scared and very upset. Oh, yes, yeah, really? same. Oh, really? <laughs> Anything else you'd like to do? That's all I can do. Abaddon, what do you want to do? Hey. Hi. Please don't shoot me in the butt. I don't got a hit. I just got to do this. As long as I'm connected, she'll keep taking damage. You're slurping more damage from them. Oh, so you're just stealing their life force while we're smacking them. That's dirty. I love it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to stand here so I can see him better. Okay. Uh, so it's Kasula's turn. She's going to move over here so she can see. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Um, I'd be like, hey, Red, you've got this. And I'll give Red Bardic inspiration. Nice. There you go, Red. So you can add a, add a D6 to your roll if it misses, and that is on top of Bless as well. Yeah. So if Bless misses, then you have Bardic Inspiration. And that lasts for 10 minutes. Do I have to decide to use it? You can decide before, after you roll. Well, before I know the results or after? You can know after. So if it's going to miss after, you can decide to use it or not. Okay. So if it's going to miss, you'd be like, no, okay, now I want to use Bardic Inspiration. Can I use Cthulhu now? Yes. <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm coming Cthulhu's way, aren't I? A little bit. I would have moved back then. Okay. 
Uh, well, there's more people in there now, so there's less of a chance to fireball. That's fine. She will scorching ray again. Sula, I need you to stop rolling bad. Those ones hit. Abaddon must have transferred it to Sula when he came out of the room. <laughs> I mean, she hit with over that half. Was the, that was the price she had to pay. She took the bad luck with oh, the, no. she, which she put her magic in. That would that would be terrible. Why would you do that to her? That's why he got the double nat 20 when he came out the door. <laughs> that was pretty good. All right, so this one gets hit in the face with a few more of those, and then Kasula steps back out. Uh, it is the hag's turn. So, uh, this one is going to attack you, Isaac. Okay. The one that's on fire takes nine points of fire damage. Ow. Do I, and I, I see, like, this one over here, like, flinches from that. This one? No, this yeah. one flinched. Well, you said they, they look like they all take pain. So I'm, I'm wondering if something like that also causes these guys over here pain. No. I was being dramatic. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I thought you were like, yeah, they're all, all their, all their pain and life force is connected. I was like, oh, cool. I'm going to uh, hit them all. No, sorry. I was just being dramatic. I'm sorry. My bad. Can I keep this nat 20? I don't think you can see her, Don Grave. Who are you shooting? I'm shooting Isaac. Shooting Isaac? I'm shooting Isaac. Well, you're I not can't see Isaac me. or the person, so yeah. You're not keeping it either way. Oh, gosh darn it. I'm not stopping. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Where is it going? Yeah, somebody used my clad ring. And which, one, which one was the one that was shooting at me? The, well, this is the one shooting at you right now. She's attacking you with her fists. Oh, well, screw you over here. Okay. Just, uh, bah. Bah. <laughs> what the hell, sister? <laughs> Reaches back for a spell, smacks her sister in the face. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Alright, well, it's a good thing they're immune. Well, not, yeah, immune to cold damage, so half of it won't affect them. But she will take the rest of this. Which it's is okay. The embarrassment's doubled. Ow. Well, then this one gets to attack. Uh, she will ice shard, well, I mean, red's right here. She'll slam attack red. Are you ready, red? Oh, I'm ready. Uh, one of them hits. Red, you take 13 points of slam and 12 points of cold damage. All right. This one is intimidated, but is going to attack Red, not Isaac, who's the one who intimidated her. Uh, she rolled a 19. That hits. Okay. So you take another nine points of bludgeoning damage. And 18 points of cold damage. And that is their turn. All right. Elise is, is... Red is severely damaged. She really doesn't want to go in there. Can I... Do you have any ranged healing, Elise? I don't think I ever gave you any. Oh, wait. I mean, it would use all of the charges on her staff, but she could. Okay. She is going to cast Mass Cure Wounds from her Staff of Healing. Ooh. Up to six creatures within a 30-foot sphere created at that point will heal. So she's going to move, like, here, uh, which should hit everybody. Yeah. One, two, three. Yeah, yeah. So everybody 
Within 30 feet of her, that is a friend. If you are damaged, we'll be healing. 18 points. Plus... Your spellcasting ability modifier. 18. So 22. You heal 22. Everybody? Everybody within 30 feet of her. Yes, if you have taken damage, you heal 22 points. Mm. Oh, you're all screwed now. But she's also now out of those charges. So she's going to go back. And she only had her. one? Her staff only carries 10 charges in it a day. Well, it's a good thing I also have mask your wounds. Yeah. All right. Uh, Dongrave, sir, it's your turn. All right. Dongrave is going to firstly open the door okay <laughs> to assess the situation uh you see red is currently surrounded because he put himself in a surrounded position like a silly person yeah this one this one seems severely damaged this one also seems pretty severely damaged this one's on fire so what would you like to do Probably cast some sort of spell, I imagine. Yeah, yeah. Um. Nah, let's just do a little, 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 uh, little sacred flame. Sacred who looks flame. The most worse off. This one. That's who is being sacred flame. One deck save, please. One deck save. I'm not good at those. Hang on. I know. Uh, all right. I have to roll again. It landed cockeyed. Hang on. <laughs> it was between a two and a twenty. Rigged. I couldn't pick oh, one side. Uh, <laughs> I pick the two. I know you would. Uh, you said con save. Dex terror. Dex. All right, thirteen. So I I fail. Oh. Come on. Two radiant damage. Six six radiant damage. Oh god, I'm so sorry. I cast Spare the Dying on myself and close the door. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, Isaac, sir! What you doing? Well, they seem to have angered me a lot, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to rage. Rage? Get it done, let's go. Come, come. Boom. Rage. And then activate this over here and do the thing on that. Okay, that works cool. And are you attacking this one, I'm guessing? Yeah, I must smack her. All right. Roll. Bah. You attacking recklessly? I am. Very good, sir. That hits. It's one of three. Give me your damage. Ow. All right, keep Ow. going. Let's see if I can do that again. That hits. Uh, all right, so Isaac, you rage, and with your axe, you take a one-two swing and lop her head off, and she falls down to the ground dead. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> And since, since she does that, can I take my movement to move into her space? Uh, you can, sure. Just boop, boop. Hi. Hi. She's still there. I'm just scooching out of the way so we can see you. Oh, yeah. This has turned into a no good, very bad day for them. Yeah. Keep you going. You know what? Action surge. Okay. Talk okay. to me, sir. <laughs> okay. Give me your damage. Baby! Oh, baby! <laughs> Which is a total of... Hold on, let me whip out the calculator real quick. I don't get to do 24 that plus your strength modifier plus 2. What? You rolled a... 34, 35, no, 36. No, 24. 12 doubles. You rolled an 11. Yeah, on my screen, it was a uh, max damage. I also see a 12 for his 
uh, yeah, it's a roll. it's a twelve. Yeah. I see. Plus, it's a twelve plus five plus uh plus two. So, but the twelve is doubled. Yes. So twenty four. Two so twenty four. Plus two. So thirty one. Yep, thirty one damage. Boop 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 boop. She's still up, but very wounded. Twenty three hits. Give me your damage. Thirteen damage. She's still up. Very unhappy, but still up. All right. I'm trying to see if there's anything I can do. Nope. I don't believe there is. So All right. that will end my turn. Your turn has ended top of the order, Red. Red, it is your turn. All right. Well, there's one less witch problem. Hag. First, which problem? First one's getting hit. 22 hits. Give me your damage. 14. Excellent. 14 damage. She is uh, pretty wounded now. Keep it going. Well, I'll see about hitting her again. A 20 hits. Give me your oh, damage. Yeah. You're just going whack with that mace. I do like that mace. 11 points of damage. 11. She's still up. Still, you know, not terrible, but she's bleeding quite a bit. Well, it's a good thing I have one more. 25 hits. Bam, bam. Thank you, ma'am. For five points of damage. Five points of damage. Got it. She's still up, still kicking. You did a total of 30 points this round. Anything else you'd like to do? That's all I can do. All right. Next up is Abaddon, sir. Spoke him, Abaddon. Abaddon. Mm -hmm. It's your turn. Yeah. <laughs> all right. She only had 10 points left, so you, you, you drain her dry. <laughs> This one is now dead. Bam. Good job. She is dead now, Abaddon. Let's go. Anything else you'd like to do on your turn? Um. No. Okay. Next up is Kasula. Uh. Actually, sorry. I would. I would then say, "We got this, Kasula." Fight him off for me, and I'll give her bardic inspiration. Okay. <laughs> so she's got that too. Very good. Which is funny because she would have missed. So she gets a d6 added. Nice, and she hits with that. All right. Uh. You it does have to go over red. That's fair. All right, red. You see the one in front of you get hit with a uh, fire bolt, not ball, bolt in front of mm -hmm. you, and she takes quite a bit of damage from it. That is Kasula's turn. Uh, it is the hag's turn. Ten points fire damage. Ow. You were you were hoping for that to take it down, weren't you? Yeah. <laughs> She's not dead, I'm sorry. That's fine. She will be if she makes it through the next round. She's going to turn to her sister here and Dude. jump onto the body and begin to feast upon it. Everyone who can currently see the witches, or the, the one that is left, give me a wisdom saving throw versus fear. I'm going to use my bless and the bark mm -hmm. inspiration. So 21. Okay. 
Isaac? I'm checking something real quick. I got a new rune, so I'm, I'm like making sure it doesn't do something to help with Thanks, this. Thanks, Abaddon. Come, come, sir. Fear. Okay, just strength and con. So wisdom save. Wisdom. Boop. Nope. All right. So as this this hag begins to feast upon the corpse in front of her, you are so disgusted. You don't wish to be anywhere near this creature as she's tearing her own, like, flesh and blood apart. As in, like, a sister kind of thing. Am I forced to leave it? Yes. You are feared. You must leave on your next turn. Not right now. On your next turn. Uh... It is Elise's turn. She's just going to maintain her bless. Dawngrave, it's your turn. You know what that means. Abaddon, you can see too. Did you did you roll for a sphere? Uh, can I see that? Yeah, you can see that. It's this chick oh. here within 60 feet. So yes, you can see that. Wisdom save? Wisdom. Yeah, you're fine. I fling open the door. You fling open the door. All right. I see I, the situation as it has unfolded before me. I don't think. Uh... Abaddon's or not Abaddon. Don Gray's not bothered by this sort of thing. He's fine. I I don't think it affects you because it's not currently her turn. Perfect. Oh, no, wait. Well, that's perfect. Sorry. You do need to give me a wisdom saving throw, please. Can it be an advantage? Dead I bodies aren't scary, way. Kath. I am in the way. E fine. Fine. You may wisdom? roll an advantage. Wisdom. Oh, barely made it. All right. You're good. She's tearing apart her own sister, eating the flesh. She appears she to be that. healing from it. What would you like to do? I'm going to fire one guiding bolt upon her. Guiding the bolt? The one doing the munchin. Yes, yes. The live one. Let's make her unalive. Ooh, that hits. Does a 25 hit? Yes, give me your damage. Ooh. 27 points of radiant damage. Radiant damage? Uh, so, Dawngrave, you see her tearing her, her sister apart. And you said, gross, and call upon the radiant light of your god to crash down upon her. And you see the entire body just get completely engulfed in this lightning. And she just stops eating and then dies and falls over with her mouth still hanging up with bits of her, her sister in there. And this is just, she's dead. She's dead and dying. You guys have finished. Good. Yes. She is dead and, and has died. She's, yes. There you go. Wait, wait, wait. We got all three of them? You got all three of them. They're all dead. Nice, nice, nice. After okay. I shake off the fear, I'm going to grab this body. I'm going to chuck it into the fire. <laughs> I don't think it continues to burn, right, Red? It, it's out. Yeah. Understandable, though. All right. So you guys have uh, successfully defeated all of the hags in the area. There are two more rooms back here to kind of gander at. Um, do you want to look around real quick before we end today's session? Sure. Yeah, I'm gonna check this hallway out and see if there's like a uh, it goes... wall or something here. Oh, yeah, I can't do this because Sula will have to. I... I'll do this one. All right. First off, Red, uh, you check it, and it seems that this uh, it appears to go down into a, a cave system, but you can see sunlight, so it appears to lead back outside further down. Gotcha. Okay. Um, so those doors over there don't have handprints. You can open those probably without any issue. Oh, okay. Oh my uh, god! <laughs> this room appears to have extremely good foodstuffs in there. Uh, all of everything in here seems to be well-maintained, clean, lots of firewood. So you could probably gather all of that later if you wish. I'll get you a list. What about this door? Open it up. It's a bathroom. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> There's a bucket on the ground with some feces in it. <laughs> Was Casula getting ready to do one of these doors? Yeah, 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 yeah. She'll do she'll do this one over here. Bam. I stand ready to save her from something. Yes, All I right. will do so also. She pours her energy into that door and opens it. Uh, inside, there are two more villagers that appear to have been captured by the hags. Uh, and they are very, very thankful for getting released. Uh, they also seem kind of fed, not like malnourished or anything, but they, they do appear to have been fed. She comes to this door as well and puts a little bit of magic into it, unlocking the door and opening it. And there are two more villagers in here. The horror! Is, the there, horror. is, is that a chest over there? No, it's just nothing important. Okay. It's just pretty. I put something in there to be pretty. It's fine. It um, but yeah, so now reason. you currently have five people five that you have six. saved. You have five people that you have saved. The uh... Kasula says, I mean, I guess we can bring them back with us. There's not really any towns nearby. Can you get uh, us all back? Wasn't it, well, there was a town at some point. That's what the uh that's what that one guy said. And like a bunch of people ran off to be adventurers. That's how them kids got scammed. That wasn't here. Oh. I don't know. It's, I'm not from here. Uh-huh. We traveled here through a portal from what you all told me. Yeah. You guys want to come with us? I don't really have anywhere else to go. Uh, yeah, it's kind of a frozen wasteland out there. Yeah. So can you can you get these guys home with us? Or depends how the magic teleport portal thing works. We'll look at it when we get to it. Was going to be like another day or something. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, the tent's going to get real snug, but yeah. Yeah. Uh, hey, and maybe with a magic bag, want to take all that food then? Oh yeah, let me let me see if I have a magic bag that would allow me to take all this food <laughs> that's inside here. Yep, I'll get you a list of all that food later. Um, so we will pause here, and you guys obviously we can we can head out of the house or whatever. But you all have successfully saved five of the trapped peoples. You have defeated the three hags, and you will of course gather the food and materials that are currently in that room. And I will pass that to you guys. I will uh, also inform Red that there was a trap door up over here, 30 foot up, that me and Don Grave could not get into. Yeah, I know. It's locked. We only had a lock pick. <laughs> uh, so thank you, everybody, so much for hanging out with us. I know today's went a little bit longer than normal, um, but we are going to be taking a two-week break bit break and we will be back january 2nd to continue the playthrough and getting you guys back home thank you guys so much uh anything else you want to do before we end for the next two weeks um um donnie you want to bury the other guy probably should i'll help donnie with that okay you guys will spend some time and bury the one that was lost. Are any of them hurt? Any of the uh, people we saved? Nope, they don't appear to be harmed. They were probably keeping them alive to feast upon later. Yeah. All right. Well, ha thank you guys so much for hanging out today, and we'll see you in a few weeks. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Goodbye, everybody. Bye. See you. Bye.